Good morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. It's uh, unreal. I, I just... Where, where the fuck are we going as a country? What's happening? Who is going to get this thing back under control? We're sliding on ice right now. Who is going to regain control of this vehicle? Now, yesterday, day before, I can't remember, whatever, Juicy Smollett had all 16 of his charges dropped. And we learned, well, we didn't learn, but it was reaffirmed, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So now, this... <laughs> This greasy little bastard, this Nigerian brother fucker, is talking about suing the city of Chicago. <laughs> and you know what? That slimy little motherfucker might win. <laughs> the nerve! Chicago! How do you feel about that? I know there are people in the comment section from Chicago. How does this make you feel? Because you know what? He's not suing the police chief personally. He's not suing the DA personally. He's not suing the mayor personally. He's suing the city of Chicago. So who is going to pay that tab? Yes, class correct. The people of Chicago. That's going to come from your tax money. Your hard-earned money is going to go to pay a motherfucker who already has money. And it was not hard-earned. The nerve! You almost have to respect the balls in this guy, I mean on this guy, to have the nerve to turn around and spit in the face of the citizens of Chicago. How much is he gonna sue for? Five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million? Who knows? But if he sues and you don't give him the money, it's because you're what, city of Chicago? Racist! That's right! You're racist and homophobic and all the other icks and phobes they can throw on you. Is this the new American dream? I know the old American dream that we grew up with was work hard and prosper. But maybe this is the new American dream. Maybe this is the 21st century American dream which is fuck people over and prosper which is lie and get paid and prosper what is this telling people I know one thing it's telling you it's telling you that if this shit were flipped and this were a white dude saying that two black dudes did this to him and it turned out he was lying that fool would get lucky to ever work again in Hollywood. Forget about a TV show. You're lucky to get a commercial. Everything you have would be stripped away. People would turn their backs on you. Your family, all the people you love, would be harassed. It would be out of fucking control. I, c I couldn't believe that shit when I read it. His lawyer is talking about suing the city of Chicago. And he'll get that maybe maybe this was their plan all along. Maybe they concocted this plan and they knew it would fail. Or they knew he would get caught. He'd probably get off. And they turn around and make way more than that bullshit 125000 you wanted per episode for a mediocre TV show. That's damn good money. 125 per episode. Man, I'll take 125 per year. Per two years and be living good. That little bastard. City of Chicago, I hope you're ready. Take out your wallet, see how much money you got in there. Start setting aside your juicy fund. Start, start a little juicy savings account so you guys can pay for it. I'm sure you guys have nothing else to pay for in the city of Chicago, right? Your taxpayers got all this extra money. You're like, shit, man. We got all this extra tax money. What are we going to spend it on? 
Juicy to the rescue. I'll take that extra tax money, city of Chicago, because I don't give a fuck about you or anybody in it. This little bastard is going to get more money. He has a ton of money. He grew up with money. <laughs> the fucking nerve. The unmitigated gall. So he's going to sue the city of Chicago, win, and probably go right back to work. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What happened to all the evidence? Now, I've read stuff about the, the feds still being able to get in that ass over the uh, fake-ass letter he sent. I hope that's true. I hope that's a whole separate set of charges that they can get him on, or at least, at least they can pursue. Maybe they can get someone else to prosecute the case. Not a sold-out piece of garbage named Kim Fox. Every time I see her name, since there's two X's, it makes me think that she's a porno star. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. Because she's about to fuck everybody in Chicago. She has fucked everybody in Chicago. She let this piece of shit walk. I haven't seen a piece of shit like this walk since Mr. Hankey. Howdy ho! How is this possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. Powerful people picked up a phone and called her and told her, shut this shit down. You know in the movies where they just show their mouth, they don't even show their face. Some powerful entity called and said, hey Kim, Kimberly, shut it down. But, but, but sir. Shut it down. Yes, sir. And here we are. <laughs> so kids, stop going to school. Stop trying to educate yourself so you can have a good life. Instead, instead of studying, instead of reading books, and sending letters to colleges and applying to colleges, na 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 na. What you need to do is concoct a plan for a hoax and hit your payday. Get that meal ticket. Unless you're white. If you're a white dude, Sorry, you better stick to that whole college, trade school, or whatever you want to do. But if you're not a white guy, start that hoax plan. Maybe that'll be a class in college someday. Hoax 101. How to burn the American people and get paid. I think I just came up with a book title, people. But I gotta hop in this damn rat race, you guys. As you can see, the sun's not even up yet. You know I'm headed to work. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow your boy on the Twitters, at Green underscore Jericho. Utilize the PayPal link. I am Jericho Green. And I'm out. <laughs>